You join me here on day one of the Scandia Selfa Gold Regatta with Luke Patience and Stuart Bithell of the 470 class. So guys, how has it been out on the water today? Uh, tricky day, really tricky day. You know, the forecast um, was to swing through about 180 degrees in the wind throughout the few hours that we were out there racing. So um, we actually came in between race one and two and it was... Uh, you know, one of these days where a lot of damage could be done, you know, the conditions were really tricky to read. Mm -hmm. uh, a first and a, a tenth, I believe. How do you feel about those results? Yeah, like Luke says, you know, it was uh, tricky down the water. We had this morning very offshore, shifty conditions and, and you know, a very light sea breeze this afternoon. So, yeah, we're, you know, absolutely happy to come out of the day with, a, you know, two, two good counters, really. So are there any competitors that you've already got your eyes on as you sort of progress through the week? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. We certainly, uh, it's all you about know, us. We know who the good guys are, obviously, you know, they've, uh, you know, proven, proven themselves time and time again. Um, but we're here this week focusing on our sailing and, uh, yeah, we've done that today and it's, uh, yeah, it's gone well for us. So any thoughts and sort of things that you're going to take into tomorrow? Uh, no. I mean, you know, you take each day as it comes. It's early days yet, and uh, I don't think stuff that happens today influences the next day too much. You know, at this early stage, that comes more later in the week when you're pushing hard and tactics and maybe try to make other people's lives hard for them. But with regards to tomorrow, it's a different forecast. It's a different day. It's a different set of priorities that are going to win the day. Um, so we'll adopt a different attitude from we did this morning. And... Uh, and uh, do the things we can do to be the best boat in tomorrow's conditions. And is this a, a sort of a useful lead up uh, to the games that are coming up, actually having this regatta at this time? Absolutely, you know, it's a great opportunity, um, you know, to, to get some good racing and in the venue, but it's a good opportunity for all, all the people going to the Olympics. Um, so, yeah, you know, it, it's a good thing, you know, it's probably better if it wasn't here, if we're being honest, because then we could train on our own waters and no one else would get to train here. But, you know, we're happy that everyone's training and, uh, you know, we're happy to race against the good guys on our home waters.